So today I'm going to talk about uh, the Senate hearing on the Capitol riots that's taking place now. The, uh, the two, uh, I guess, uh, departments that are that are involved in those hearings are the Department of Homeland Security, and that's headed up by uh, Alejandro Mayorkas, who was uh, in the Obama administration, was Homeland Security's Director of U.S. Citizenship, and then he was uh, a Deputy Secretary. So, and then the Rules Committee is also taking part, which the uh, head of that is James P. McGovern, who's from Massachusetts, and uh, he has just earmarked around $285,000 which, I mean, doesn't seem like much to me when you're talking about a federal initiative, but $285,000 for the arts in both small scholarships from as little as $10,000 to individuals to up to $100,000 for research to uh, uh, a certain college. So uh, those will be the um, topics for today, and let's uh, get into it. So I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to get ready two decks today for this uh, reading, and uh, the primary deck will be in Classic Tarot, and then if we need clarifiers, I'll use this Albano Weight Tarot, which shows up so nice on the camera, and I really enjoy using. So, there we go for those two, uh, those two decks. Just want to show you a little bit about this one. I may have shown you before, but it comes in a nice, again, those magnetic uh, snap boxes that I love so much. And this uh, is uh, Barbara Moore with the illustrations by Eugene Smith. It comes in a nice box with an, an interesting uh, companion book with, with nice uh, pictures and descriptions of their intentions for the cards which pretty much follow the writer weight uh, system and then of course the cards themselves which uh, I like very much they've got a great uh, back the cards are nicely illustrated they're clear they're easy to read and before we get started I'll as a matter of fact spread them out on the uh, top here and let you take a look um, and then we'll go from there I always like to put these back in a way that the string is useful and uh, so this classic tarot is really nice. And you know, I, I realize that this is a good way to um, mix your cards if you don't like to shuffle or if you're worried about damaging them, um, just spreading them out on the tabletop, mixing them up, or if you, you're reading for someone and perhaps you want their hands on the cards, you wanna get their um, energy into the reading, which I like to do, um, it's a good idea to just put the cards down and give them the instruction to spread them around and mix them up however they like uh, best. So there we go. But we will result to the traditional method of the riffle shuffle, which I like very much. So here we go, classic tarot. And like I said, our two topics today, or uh, one topic under two committees, is the Senate hearing on the Capitol riot. And so is that, um, is that going to reveal some justice for us uh, today? Or is something useful going to come out of that hearing? Are we going to learn details of the riot that we didn't know before? So these are probably things that we're all interested in when we flip on the television and, and uh, pick up a subject that we want to look at for 20 or 30 minutes. And uh, it certainly is for me. That uh, Alejandro Mayorkas, you know, he's from Cuba. And um, I'm interested in the spelling of his name, Mayorkas, M-A-Y-O-R-K-A-S. I mean, in, in um, the Spanish language, I'm... Um, it looks more Greek to me, but of course, I guess we're all, uh, no matter where we're from, we're a mix of cultures from all over, so no surprises there. I'll shuffle these a little bit this way, and then back the other way. These cards shuffle really nicely. I don't know, I think it may be because I've got them worn down. I've used these quite a lot. The coating on them, which as you can see, is kind of a nice shiny coating, uh, sometimes makes it difficult to shuffle cards. But on these, especially at this point in my relationship with them, if you want to put it that way, is um, they've kind of broken in. And they kind of, uh, they're old friends, really, to tell you the truth. And uh, we'll do a little bit this way, we'll do a cut, we'll do a little bit of a shuffle, and we'll jump right into the reading. Now I've changed this, uh, this uh, tabletop also. I'm thinking that maybe these uh, grids give me a, a better... Um, grid to uh, line up the cards so that uh, they'll be clearer to keep track of. So here we go. This is going to be the Senate hearing on the Capitol riot. What do we need to know? What can you reveal to us? How is this going? What is the energy of that reading? And uh, especially tuning into Alejandro Mayorkas and James P. McGovern. Okay. So we're going to take six cards as usual 
And uh, from the, after those six, we'll divide further with four, uh, four more off the pack. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Put these off to the side because we're going to need them. We'll take these six and deal them right out uh, just uh, as we have done uh, before. Okay, Homeland Security. Senate hearing on, cap on the Capitol riots. The signifier of this read is going to be the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords is um, the second most authoritative um, of the royal cards in this sword suit. Of course, in any suit, the Queen. But So she brings a significant amount of strength and, um, and um, commands of power over this uh, sword which for her, I'm going to say, is uh, the law, it's justice, it's right against wrong. And uh, this Queen of Swords is, um, you know, she's not as severe as some of the Queen of Swords we've seen in other cards. She's got uh, some angels that are looking out for her right and left. They're sort of her, her wing, wing men, if you want to say that. And uh, she has the Peace Dove up here, two of them, as a matter of fact. And then a butterfly, which signifies rebirth. And so she's in a lush setting although somewhat separated from what might be a challenge on this side. So this is the Queen of Swords and the signifier of this read. The challenge to the Queen of Swords is the Two of Swords. And Two of Swords speaks to us of uh, choices that have to be made. Um, and we're, the swords are very appropriate right now since we're dealing with the Senate hearing and we're dealing with the, uh, gosh, the atrocity really of the Capitol riots. So making a choice which way we're going to go. So that's the challenge. To the Queen of Swords is the Two of Swords. Now the base of the reading is the Ace of Swords. Wow! So a lot of uh, a lot of swords here. Ace of Swords means uh, coming out of the clouds with a big offer of truth or justice or right, and um, aiming for that crowning glory. Okay, that's the basis of the reading. The past of this reading is Temperance. So remember, we're dealing with the Senate hearings on the Capitol riot. Uh, Homeland Security and the Rules Committee are the two uh, uh, committees that are uh, involved in this. So Tempest would, would talk to us about you know leveling out uh, our expectations or our goals or our the results that we have received. So getting an, a fair, even uh, footing on what the situation is regarding that riot. In the sky, we had the Nine of Swords. Nine of all swords. This is really amazing. Well, almost all swords. So the Nine of Swords speaks to, you know, devastation, uh, worry, unrest, uh, nightmares. What really concerned over, over the danger that has uh, befallen you. Absolutely appropriate. And then the likely outcome is action, the Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands speak to us about a lot of things. Uh, coming at the same time, and for me, these wands are are taking off in this instance. You you, you kind of use your own judgment as to where you think the, the the issues are coming in or going out, and immediately it was obvious to me that these wands are headed towards one single goal. Look at that; they're all in here towards one goal. So we're gonna there's eight of them, so maybe we'll have uh, eight points come out of those meetings. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Now, if we're gonna divide that further into um, the self. In other words, the immediate, the immediate um, um, environment of, of that committee, the Senate hearing, then uh, we're going to start with the fool. And that's absolutely appropriate. So they're starting off on a journey to, uh, to reveal um, what happened, what didn't happen, and what can be done in the future to make that better. And you can see right here, this, this uh, fool, he's, he's off on his his journey, he's head up in the air, he's come with an offer, and he may not be looking or paying attention to the slippery slope that he's about to uh, walk off of. However, he does have this, uh, this dog right here reminding him and the sun shining through to shed light on the situation. He's brought with him everything he needs for this journey. And he can pivot around on that heel right away and uh, get going in the direction that he has to. So that's the self of this uh, Senate hearing. Now, the environment that they're in are the Knight of Cups. 
And the Knight of Cups is a, in, in this case anyway, is a sturdy knight. He's got a huge cup. That's, he's got a firm grip on it and a firm, a nice grip on the lead of his steady steed. And uh, they're traveling next to just a, a river or an ocean of emotions, and they're taking cautious steps uh, towards uh, the um, end of that uh, journey. So that's the environment that he's in. The, the uh, hopes and the fears for that, oh my goodness, as uh, the Eight of Cups reversed. Now, the, eight of, the reverse cards, I, for me, I just don't have a lot of confidence in my reading of reverse cards, but I'm going to give you uh, what, what uh, comes to me of this. When the Eight of Cups is upright, it talks about uh, turning your back on, on something, walking away and, um, and leaving it behind. And so you've got you know, eight nice, full, big cups stacked up to this river of, of, of passion uh, right here. Um, illuminated by a full moon, and, but this fellow is has turned away from those eight of cups. But we got this card in reverse, so I'm going to say that you know the the cups aren't full. It's obviously that we have a lot of issues here, and there's eight of them, just like there's eight uh, wands in this uh, likely outcome from that first part of the Celtic cross. So we've got eight cups here that need attention, and um, so I'm going to say in the hopes and the fears, it's how do we. How do we fill up? How do we right this um, this wrong? And then, wow! In the final outcome, we've got uh, the high priestess. Now, the high priestess really speaks to us of our intuition. She's a priest when she's upright. She's a priestess of, of knowledge. She's holding on to a scroll which has uh, the information that she needs. She's um, fruit fruit for or fertilizer for the, the tree of life, and she stands between the two pillars uh, of the uh, tomb of Solomon, of um, uh, justice and making things happen. So, but she came to us in reverse. So again, I'm really pushing my, my uh, intuitive uh, confidence here, but I'm gonna say that when this priestess comes to us in reverse, I think she's telling us that we really have to uh, struggle for that uh, knowledge and to apply it to the truth. So this does call for some clarifiers. And so we're gonna pull out our trusty Albano weight cards. And uh, again, I love these just because they're so colorful and, uh, and fun and easy to read. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of shuffling like this for these cards and then shuffling back the other way. And you and I are gonna pray that I don't drop them on top of this uh, spread that I have below me because that would be so inconvenient. We're going to go back this way, give it a few nice shuffles. Let's see if we can't clarify that reversed uh, high priestess. The reversed high priestess regarding the Senate hearing on the Capitol riots. What's going to happen? Will we reveal uh, what's useful? And um, let's leave it at that. The first card for that is moving on. And the six of of swords so that some will say that this is moving out of troubled waters and it just so happens that the sun has started to shine through my window right here which is on the ahead of me and um, but uh, so moving through troubled waters and you certainly want a, a bright uh, shiny day when you're going to make that difficult journey and uh, you brought along everything that you need to protect you and uh, and someone to push the barge along and you're ready for that journey I'm going to say this, I'll draw three cards only, and if it's obviously clear before the three cards, that's when I'll stop, but uh, we won't go further than three cards in this read, the clarification of that uh, High Priestess. And look at this, double verification. So we had the Eight of Cups here, and this has told us that uh, this fella is moving on from these eight issues, and so this may tell us that, that in fact, um, gosh, I don't want to say it, but the, you know, maybe there isn't a clear uh, resolution to these things, and this fellow has had to move on to look for something more fruitful, uh, although his, I'm sure it pains him to leave these eight nice full cups uh, behind. The last card that we'll pull as a clarifier for that priestess is the sun. Love that. So this tells us that there will be uh, light shown on the issue. It looks like we'll have some celebration around it, and we'll be moving forward in a positive manner. So that is the clarification for the reversed um, High Priestess. 
with a, ver a double uh, clarification of this uh, or verification or validation of these eight of cups. So I'd love to see that. It just gives me uh, a lot of confidence in the read. So that's our uh, reading for today. So that was pretty interesting. I mean, we moved right through from um, from the Queen of Swords, who was our signifier in that in that draw. Uh, eventually we got to in the sky worried about all the consequences that were coming at us in that nine of swords we started on that journey with the fool to clarify it we ended up with a, with two reverse cards the reversed eight of cups in our hopes and our fears and um, then the reversed uh, high priestess um, as the final outcome which left us seeking uh, more uh, information. But as the clarifiers came out, they showed us that the uh, we would be moving out of troubled waters with the Six of Swords, that we would have to leave behind some value, but that we, there would be sun shown on the issue that we're dealing with. So I like that. And uh, my name is Mark. This is my journey through tarot. Thank you so much for coming by. I really do appreciate that you're here, and I'll be here again later. Just come on by and uh, say say hello. Ciao for now.